what is real, what is fake. There's already a huge worry about what the news is telling you, the right actual news. Because there's really no way of knowing unless you've been there. You're just hearing from a third party, from the heard from somebody else, the heard from somebody else, and now adding AI into it, knowing that they can fake something. Is it fake? Like we said, like AI can do stuff at a much more efficient pace than a lot of humans can. And so what happens when there's a war, like, for example, the war between Russia and Ukraine or the war between Palestine and Israel right now, where you could just set an AI to just throw out a bunch of stories everywhere, just sending out articles, writing articles of some random person who supposedly might be dead. All of a sudden, one big news agency picks it up without totally clearing it. All of a sudden, they post a fake story that was written by an AI. And there have been cases where that's already happened. Nothing like too wide mainstream, but there have been very isolated instances where I think there was a really small Texas Gazette newspaper that posted like the story of a child that had been killed. And it blew up. And then people realized within 24 hours that it was a complete fake story. Yeah. And that was AI that wrote that. And, you know, that's really scary. AI had also created images and stuff like that of the, the child that was dead, and that's how they thought it was real. It's it's crazy. And I mentioned a little bit uh, in the beginning of this podcast talking about how people just trust stuff on the internet, right? You just look, see it, you just want to believe it. A, a human just want to believe what they see. And we saw, remember back in the day, there was the these these kids faked Justin Bieber eating a burrito sideways. I remember yeah, that, it was, yeah. It was so funny. It went national just because they faked this thing. That's people faking stuff. Now they have the ability for AI to fake anything. Yeah. And it's going to be crazy. Ron DeSantis actually did this in his campaign where he was doing an ad that was anti-Trump. And he used a bunch of different photos of Trump with Fauci. Uh, You know, Trump shaking his hand, giving him a hug. Just like general photos that people have taken in the news. But there was one photo that he used in his ad, a literal picture of Donald Trump kissing Fauci on the cheek and it was AI generated and you can look this up it's crazy he actually used this in his real campaign and he said there was like a thing underneath that said real photos of Trump and he got a lot of backlash over it because people were everyone saw it was obviously fake you could tell like in the lettering in the background was all jumbled up and yeah you could tell AI made it but like we said AI is the worst right now than it will ever be It's only going to get better. And those types of images, fake images of a political opponent or someone that you don't like, you could just post them, defame them. And there's really no way, if AI continues to get better, there's no way that you could really prove them wrong. It's going to get harder. Yeah, I mean, think about this. If if AI gets better and you have a political opponent that you don't like, you can make a fake video of them. You can make a fake audio recording. Fake audio, yes. You can fake anything, fake documents, fake whatever you want. And you you can use that. And to, to push them out of office, to make them scared, to blackmail them in some kind of way. Because, I mean, we do so much on a regular basis, you're not going to remember everything you do. And it's just going to be absolutely crazy. And with AI, and you mentioned generating images, like I found this AI and I was like, oh, I'm going to play with it a little bit. And I was able to make, I put in prompts for like one of our, our Halloween clips. And I'm like, hey, create kids trick or treating. It created kids trick or treating. Hey, put I put kids trick or treating with a pillowcase. Kids trick or treating with it just it made these images instantly. Instantly, like I couldn't go find a picture of a random kid, and it's also weird to find a picture of a kid and post it on a store. But it's able to do that, and we're seeing you're able to AI generate almost anything now. You know what? It goes both ways too, because what if you have done something wrong, and you're in the court of law? And you're trying to convince the jury or the judge, whatever type of court it is, that you didn't do anything wrong and that you've been defamed by AI. And you can legitimately start making a a case that AI has defamed you, even though you might have actually done something, right? There's a video of you doing it, but is that video real? Like how, like in the future, when we start getting better and better at this stuff, how are we actually going to prove wrongdoing in any one of these cases like you just showed like you can make images of kids trick-or-treating pretty soon you'll be able to make videos of kids trick-or-treating if you can make videos of kids trick-or-treating you can make a video of anything yeah it's it's absolutely insane and we've talked a lot about this in in this podcast about 
issues that males have. It, it, it just not just males, but a lot of people have with the over sexualization in society. And we are seeing people are able to AI generate adult stars and videos of adult stars. And it's going to, and I personally think that in a couple of years as AI gets better, that's going to be the industry is all fake.